Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to drastically lower input delay in all games. We will be using mouse and keyboard queue sizes to drastically lower input delay in games such as Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, Counter Strike and any other game that you might be playing. Now I know that a lot of you guys might actually be using these values already. However, I'm pretty sure that most of you guys don't even know how to properly use them and what they actually do. So I'm gonna start off by explaining what the keyboard and mouse data queue sizes actually are and how they work. So queue sizes are basically the buffers that manage the flow of data from your keyboard and your mouse to your computer. The keyboard queue sizes buffer the keyboard events for your computer while the mouse queue sizes buffer the mouse events for your computer. So if you increase these values it will ensure that none of the data is lost and you get 100% response. However it will take a lot more time for that data to reach your computer. But the inverse is also true. So if you lower these values it's going to take a lot less time for this data to get to your computer. However it can cause loss of data in the form of mouse clicks not registering or the the keyboard key is not registering but I will also be showing you how to never have that issue and get the lowest input delay possible. So that's enough of chit chat, let's dive into it. Now I will be showcasing two methods inside of here, the first one is the manual method and the second one is the automatic method. If you want to use the automatic method then download this pack from the link in the description and simply use these two registry values. These will set your values to the best ones that are recommended for everyone that is 30 decimal but if you want more control or even want to customize these values to go even lower then follow the manual method that I'm about to show you. For that you will need to open up your start menu and search for regedit. Then open up the registry editor. Now once this opens up, expand down the HK local machine, then system, then current control set. Then under that, expand down services and scroll down until you can find the keyboard class. So it will be the KBD class. If you expand it down, you should have this parameters folder. However, if you don't, simply right click, then new, then key and name it parameters with a capital P. Since I already have it, I'm gonna click on it. And of course, if you don't have the key, you will also not have this D word value. So in order to create that, you will need to write Right click here then new then d with 32 bit value and name it the keyboard data queue size just like this now once you have this 32 bit value open it up change the base to decimal so it's easier to work with and the default value should be 100 now if we set something like 200 or 120 it's going to ensure that none of the data that is reported by the keyboard in this case is not lost however our goal is to reduce the input delay without encountering any issues so what i recommend is basically setting this value to something like 40 and then hit ok now restart your computer launch up inside of Fortnite or any other game of your choice and make sure that all of your key presses are registering and there is no delay between them. For example, what I like to do is open up Fortnite and go into creative and then crank up some builds in order to test that all of the key presses that I'm pressing are actually registering such as placing builds, editing them and all of that good stuff. Now the value that I recommend and is also present inside of this automatic pack is if I switch this to decimal and I set it to 30. So 30 is the value that will work the best for most of you regardless of your hardware whether you have older hardware or newer hardware. Keep in mind that this does depend on your hardware as well. So if you have good hardware then you can set this value a lot lower compared to someone who has bad hardware. Now let's say that you have set this to 30 and everything is working fine. You can go even lower. You can go ahead and try 20. However in this case if you are facing issues such as keyboard keys not registering then I would recommend going back to something like 25 or even back to 30. But for the sake of keeping this video simple and also making it useful for the most amount of people that I can I will recommend recommend that you set this value to 30 then hit ok and now we are done with basically the keyboard data queue sizes now we can move on to the mouse queue sizes for that you will need to scroll down even more until you get to the mou class and in this case as you can see that even i don't have the parameter folder for that i will right click and then go into new key and then go with the parameters inside of here i will right click new d with 32 bit value and i'm gonna name it mouse data queue size now once i have named it i'm gonna open it up set the value to decimal and once again 100 should be the default however since we have tested that 30 is working the best for our keyboard i will also recommend that you set this to 30 for most of you guys this should be working pretty fine once again if you notice that your mouse pointer is actually teleporting or your mouse clicks are not registering you can increase this value however if you don't feel any of that you can decrease this value for me the one that's worked perfectly fine is up to 20 so i'm gonna keep it at that so go ahead change both of these values then restart your computer load up into your favorite game and enjoy the lowest input delay for those of you who might be thinking if this is even worth it, in my opinion it definitely is. Especially for competitive games such as Fortnite and Valorant where each keyboard press and mouse click counts and you want the lowest latency if you want all of those hits to register as soon as possible. Once again TLDR setting this value to as low as possible will give you the lowest input delay. However setting it 
bit too low can cause issues with the keyboard presses and mouse values. So make sure that you only go as low as it's possible without any of those issues. The values that I recommend are 30 and then if you want to go even lower, 20 should be the end of it. However, that's it. If you want to optimize your windows even further, then check out this video right now.